Let's now take you to the Upper East region, where two cargo trucks have been ambushed at Misiga in the Boku municipality, leading to the death of two passengers. The trucks were leading to neighboring Burkina Faso through uh, the Kulungugu border when they came under attack. The two trucks were under the escort of the military when the attack happened. The attackers are said to have emerged from close by farms and opened fire on the vehicles. Our man on that beat, Castro Senala, is on Zoom currently to give us more update. Castro, good evening to you. What more can you report on this issue? Good evening, Aisha. We continue to monitor the situation in Boko as authorities uh, do their best to bring uh, closure to this uh, renewed conflict. Now, uh, what's more is that security agencies that have been in touch with have been able to have been able to tell me that uh, it appears uh, these two who have lost their lives are nationals of neighboring Burkina Faso. Uh, these uh, two were moving with the vehicles uh, towards the Kulungugu border when the attack unfortunately happened, leading to their uh, death. As I speak now, I get information that these cars have been taken to safety and uh, the security agencies continue to patrol to ensure that uh, calm is uh, restored and people can, uh, I mean, remain in their houses as the KFU continues till tomorrow. But have we identified the people that attacked these vehicles? Not yet. Uh, the identity of these uh, attackers has not been ascertained. As uh, we understand that when that happened, uh, though the military was uh, somewhere around when that happened, and uh, the, the attackers were able to quickly get away before uh, they responded to the distress, distress call. Let me state that the military and the police are here in Boku and continue to, I mean, uh, increase their patrols to ensure that people are safe. And so whenever there are distress calls like uh, what happened today, they quickly rushed there. But unfortunately, this time around, when they got there, the attackers had fled at the scene, leaving the vehicles. The vehicles moved, uh, uh, continued their journey, some extent before the realization that two passengers within them had succumbed to the shootings. I was going to ask about the current state of security in there, but you've mentioned that already. Thank you very much, Castro Senala, for that update. I'm sure you're keeping an eye on that, and then you bring us more in subsequent bulletins.